So let me quickly share the screen again, present the questions to you and see how do we solve such questions in the exam. Now try this out. This is like actually one of the previous year's questions. So the question says 35% of 580 plus 70% of what is equal to 441. I'll give you about a minute to try this out and then discuss about this. Or the answer 340. Kranti, Trapti, Ashish, who else? Vikram Reddy, Amar, Sneha, Rapiraj, Chandrakar, all of you have got 340. Now tell me what did you do to get the answer? I think what is important is not the answer, but what method have you followed? The question is asking us to find out what comes in place of question mark. And the given equation is 35% of 580 plus 70% of what is equal to 441. So what do we do? Yeah, more answers coming in and everybody here says 340 is the answer. Lalita, Sarvanan, um, Malar Selvi, Ishant, Saurav Raj, right? Balram Senapati. So 340. But how did you get 340 is the question. What method did you follow? Did you do the, do the complete simplification? Or do you think there's a smarter way of getting the answer? What can be done? Ishan says he has applied approximations. Okay. Kranti says he has taken 35% as 50% minus 50, 15%. All right. Prince has used split and merge. So looks like many of you are actually aware of smarter ways of doing it, right? Split and merge and, you know, like, like take 35% as 50% minus 15% and, and things like that. All right. So let's, let's take it up now. I think what I get to sense is that most of you have done a good job or at least those who have responded have done a good job by using split and merge and all that. See, the point that I'm trying to make here is, like, look at the first part of it, 35% of 580. Now, you know that 35% of 580 has to be worked down, right? So, if you say 35 by 100 into 580, then 0 and 0 cancel, 5 into 7, 5 into 2, then 2 ones are 2, 2 29s are 58, then 29 into 7, 7 nines are 63, 7 twos are 14 and 6 is 20, so 2 not 3. Then yes, 35% of 580 is 2 not 3. If this is what you are planning to do or if this is what you have done, let me be a little blunt and straight here. You are not fit for the exam. Right? You are not fit for this exam. Cut down the paperwork. The one reason why we end up wasting a lot of time in the examination, especially in the numerical ability section or the quantitative aptitude section is because we do calculations this way. Right? And the, and the problem is not that you are doing the calculations this way. The problem is you don't even know that there is a better way of doing it. I am glad that many of you have used split and merge kind of techniques. But whatever be the technique, cut down the number of steps that you put on paper, right? I am sure these, these calculations can be done really quick without having to put it on paper. And, and percentage itself is a very easy thing to do, right? Like, like he is asking us to find out 35% of 580. Understand, the problem here is this 35 percentage. Suppose if it is 10% of 580, will you do on paper? No. You know that 10% of 580 is 58. Suppose it is 50% of 580. Will you do on paper? No. 50% of 580 is half of this, which is 290. Right? Suppose it is 100% of 580. Will you do on paper? No. 100% of 580 is 580. 1% of 580, 5.8. 20% of 580, it will be, you know, 116. And, and so on. Right? The problem is 35%. 35% is not very easy or it's, it's not something that you can... Uh, do like as easily as 10 percentage or 50 percentage. But then if you split the 35 percentage in a way that it becomes easier for you, you are done. So now how do you split it? There are different ways of doing it. I can say 35 percentage is 30 percent plus 5 percent or I can say 35 percentage is 50 percentage minus 15 percentage or I can say it is 10 percentage plus 25 percentage. There are a number of ways of doing it. You decide what is most convenient to you, right? Right? Or we can say it is 10 percent into three times plus five percent which is in line with the first split here so you know try to split the number and do the calculation really quick right like for example let's let's go with 50 percent minus five uh, 15 percent which is actually 50 percentage minus 10 percentage minus five percentage and all these are very easy to, it, it looks like lengthy you may feel that instead of calculating 135 percentage we are doing three percentage calculations so how do you think it save time I agree, the number of calculations have gone up, but then each of these calculations that we do now is very simple compared to this original calculation of 35%. 50% 290, 10% 58, 5% 29. You're done. 
Now do the additions and subtractions, but then you have to be strong. You have to be quick in doing the simple additions and subtractions. Then that is what you need to practice, right? Practice doing simple calculations. Our problem is not complex calculations. Our problem is with simple calculations. I'm sure if 63 has to be multiplied with 27, at least 90% of us will do it on paper. 27 into 3 is 21. 27, uh, sorry, 7 into 3 is 21. 7 into 6 is 42 plus 2 44. Then 2 into 3 is 6. 2 into 6 is 12. So the answer is, uh, you know, 1701. Waste of time. Absolute waste of time. Are you getting it? Simply a waste of time. You have to do it in a smarter way. 27 can be taken as 30 minus 3. So I would say 1860 minus... 1890 minus 189, which will give you 1701. So paperwork is the biggest challenge, right? Paperwork is the biggest challenge. You have to cut down the paperwork. So what do you do? 290 minus 58 minus 29. Now, again, don't don't write on paper, right? 58 and 29. How much is that? Add 58 and 29 first. Now, how do you add 58 and 29? This is very simple, but let me just draw your attention to a point. Adding 58 or adding 29 to 58 is difficult. So don't do that. What do you do? Add 30. Add 30. These are simple things which most of us fail to realize. Right? Don't add 29. Add 30. Add 30. Adding 30 is very easy. So 58 plus 30, 88. Within no time, you know that it's 88. But then you also know that you have added one extra. Subtract that. 87. So this becomes 87. So 290 minus 87. 203 or not? 290. Again, 90 minus 87. 90 minus 87 is 3. So 200 plus 3, 203. That's what you have got here. So the first term here becomes 203 plus 70 percentage of x or 70 percentage of question mark equals to 441. Now what's the next step? 70 percentage of whatever that question mark is will be equal to 441. I don't write this. I'm just writing it for the sake of explanation. 441 minus 203. Now take the difference. 441 minus 203. Find the difference. 400 minus 200. 241 minus 3. 38. 238. So 70 percentage of what is 238? 70% of what is 238. I would simply divide this by 7 and see what comes. So this comes out to be, uh, how many times? 238 divided by 7, right? 34 times. So 340 should be the answer, option 2. You getting it? Option 2 is the answer. Okay, I think uh, many of you say that the screen is blurred. But let me tell you that the stream is absolutely fine from my side, right? I mean, from our end, there is no problem. Looks like you have to, you have to adjust the settings, right? Are you all finding the screen to be blurred? I see a lot of comments on screen being blurred there. Yeah. See, there is a settings button on the bottom right of your video screen. So use that settings button to, you know, adjust the picture quality, the picture resolution. Because I am sure it is to do with your internet connection, right? Otherwise, there's no problem. See, Prince says there is no problem at all. But then, yeah, Shanti and... Uh, Prini and others say that there is, it is, it is blood, but it has to do with your internet connection. So adjust the resolution according to your connectivity there, and I'm sure you'll get a better picture. Anyway, the whole idea is to kind of, you know, cut down the number of steps. Although I have written too much on paper, but the the reason here is to explain to you what needs to be done, how you need to do that, right, on uh, without paper. So try to keep things simple, right? Don't don't put pen on paper and make it complicated of course uh, we have discussed uh, about simplifications a number of times uh, in the past you can refer to a lot of videos that we have on simplifications available in YouTube right you can also look at our full video which is a part of the talent sprint program right and learn all the all the techniques there but then in simple words not just for the sake of simplifications but for quantitative aptitude in general you know that every question has got numbers in it right you have to play with those numbers you have to do that simplification to arrive at the answer so just just don't feel that calculation is important only for those five questions that will be asked from simplifications or only for those 10 questions that would come under simplifications calculation is needed in every single question that we attempt in this section be it from percentages or time and work or time and distance or profit and loss or simple and compound risk you have to uh, do some calculation for you to be able to arrive at the final answer and that is where most of us fail I mean, fail meaning we end up wasting a lot of time. And the problem, a bigger problem is we don't realize that we are wasting our time there. So, so that's something that you have to, uh, you know, work on. All right. I think we'll take one more question before we close because I just don't want to close it with one, one question here. 
but there is a lot that you can learn through our YouTube channels, through our talent training program, right? Details are available on our website. So please explore that if you would like to. Let us take the next question. Sharing the screen again. I, I think this again is similar, but then, you know, you have to be very quick. Like for example, 45% of 360, 45% is not 45%, 50% minus 5%, 50% is 180, so 5% is 18, 180 minus 18, 162. Because I was speaking, it, it took so much of time, right? When you do it within yourself, you know that 45% of 360 is 180 within no time. What is the, what is the idea? What is the logic behind it? 45% is not 45%. 50% minus 5%. You getting it? And 50% is very easy to calculate. Half of the value. And the, the moment you get 50%, 5% is readily available. Because 5% is 50% by 10. You getting it? Like for example, 45% of 1200, let's say. 50% of 1200 is 600 minus 60. If 50% is 600, 5% will be 60. 540 is the answer. Right, 45% of let's say 2700, 50% is 1350, 5% will be 135. Just take the difference, 1350 minus 135, it will be 1250. Right, so you have to be you have to be very confident in the way you do your calculations, and that can happen only through practice. That that can come only through practice, right? So 162, then 288. How much is 162 and 288? See again, don't do this. I'm sure at least 10, 15% of you would have done this addition on paper right i mean see i'm not trying to demoralize you but realize that we are very poor in calculation and that's that's the objective right so 288 plus 162 this is 8 plus 2 10 then 9 and 6 15 and this is like 450 so 450 left hand side is four. this is waste of time and this actually shows that you're 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 going to waste a lot of time in your examination as well right 160 plus 288 you know do it in parts split and merge again add hundreds 100 and 200, 300. 60 and 80, 140. So 300 and 140 is 440. 2 and 8 is 10. 440 and 10 is 450. Do it mentally and you're there. 450 is what percentage of 750? Right? So what happens? This is like 150 into 3 times, 150 into 5 times. So that percentage is 3 by 5. 3 by 5 is what percentage? This again is very, very important, right? How do you convert percentages to fractions and fractions to percentages? And there is a list of standard percentages in terms of its equivalent fractions. If you are thorough with that, right? There are certain things that you'll have to learn by heart. So if you're thorough with that, you know that 3 by 5 is 60 percentage. Again, you can also apply things like unit digit method, unit digit method, digital root method, approximation, etc. But do it only if it is really needed, right? Don't try to apply that uh, in, in every question, right? Unit digit method is very easy to apply. I'm sure most of you would be aware of that and applicable only if the options allow us to do that, right? The unit digit of each of the options has to be different. Only then it makes sense. Otherwise, don't try that. Then there's something called as digital root method or the root digit method, which is very, very interesting, but do it in the rest of the rare cases, right? Don't try to apply everywhere because, uh, you know, I mean, you'll get the answer. No doubt you'll not get the answer, but again, it depends on the options there. If two of the options have got the same root digit, or same digital root, then it becomes useless. So you have to be very careful. If something can be cracked directly, do it. Otherwise, to eliminate, you can use these kind of techniques, unit digit method or digital root method or approximations, etc. Right? But focus should be on split and merge because split and merge is very, very powerful. This, this technique of split and merge that we have also discussed in our speed maths videos is applicable for all types of arithmetic uh, calculations, right? Be it multiplications or additions or divisions or subtractions or you know, we use that also for finding out squares, cubes, square roots, cube roots. It's, it's useful everywhere. The whole idea is instead of doing one complex calculation, split it into parts. Do those simpler calculations, merge them and get the answer. It may look lengthy, but believe me, it actually is easier. It, it looks lengthy initially. But when you start practicing on that, spend about 45 minutes to 60 minutes every day for, let's say, 15 days, you'll feel yourself that you know, you have come a long way, right? And it can only improve, right? I'll tell you, do it for 15 days, do it for 21 days. It becomes a habit after that. I, I do calculations every day. It, it happens, it, it's like second nature, right? I mean, you're just thinking about something, numbers pop up, you start multiplying, you start adding there, right? Like for example, what is 21 into 43? 860 plus 4903 is the answer. I was, again, don't misunderstand or don't think that I was, prepared with the answer. No, I did that calculation on the spot. 21 into 43, 460, 430, 430, 860 plus 43, 903. Within no time, you just get this, right? But then 
you know that a lot of us do the same calculation on paper also and when you do it on paper by the time you write 21 and 43 two seconds are gone and mentally without paper you can do the full calculation in less than two seconds so this is where the gap is this is where we are wasting a lot of time you are getting it so practice i think practice is the key the more you practice the easier it gets right learn all those speed math techniques right multiplications additions subtractions divisions squares square roots because all these small small components would be useful when you are doing uh, simplifications right like things like what we have discussed today right 58 plus 29 don't try to add 29 it will take one second more add 30 88 minus 1 87 you're getting it like for example if i ask you what is 99 plus 76 i'm sure all of you will say 175 instantly how you have not added 99 you have added 100 100 plus 76 176 minus 175 why didn't you do that for 29 why don't you do that for 21 why don't you do that for 49 you're able to follow so you have to pick up these simple things and start using them in your day-to-day -day life calculations right and practice without practice nothing is going to be useful all right so i think the time is up i am I, I wish i could solve more questions but i'll have to close it here but not to worry everything is available for you uh, uh, online program that we have gives you complete flexibility to learn anytime anywhere and at your own pace right your place your time and your pace so you can explore about that details are available on our website which is talentsprint.com right www.talentsprint.com you can also call our toll-free number, which is 1-800-102-9006. I repeat, 1-800-102-9006. The details must also be available below the video screen. So just see if you would like to explore it. And all the very best for your SPA clerks exam, right? I think at this point of time, when we are too close to the examination, I would suggest not to focus too much on preparation or practice. I mean, you keep doing it. But then also give yourself time to relax and, and be composed, right? Remember the point that I have already made more than two times in this session, right? Most of us fail not because we are not well prepared, right? It is because we are unable to handle that pressure or that situation, right? Deal with that situation. And why does that happen? Because we get nervous. Because we panic for various things, right? And why does this happen? Because we think of unnecessary stuff. What will be the cutoff? What will be the type of questions asked? Be cool. In the worst case you will lose it so what more exams are coming up you will do better there right a bigger opportunity is awaiting you i think that is how if you look at uh, it, it it will be easy for you to you know do it confidently all right i thank you all for joining us in this session right we'll meet again uh, the next wednesday and uh, learn something more about your bank and sec exams till then keep practicing and take very good care of yourselves see you all Welcome to Talent Sprint. I'm here with your weekly dose of current affairs. So let's begin with the national news. The Indian Navy has... Hey guys, a very good evening and welcome to this live session on quantitative aptitude uh, paper solutions from the previous year's IBPS clerks exam. And as you all know, this session is for the upcoming IBPS clerks exam which is scheduled to start, uh, you know, in the month of November, right?